Hello and welcome back to the restaurant show. Right now I'm very excited because my we have our friend Jenny Capillaro here from the Green Owl Cafe. What do we have cooking today? Hi Ryan, it's good to be back. Um, so um, we're a vegetarian restaurant and so mm -hmm. um, and currently, we're, we're the only vegetarian restaurant in town. Yeah, that actually surprises a lot of people, especially with the way Madison is, that you're the only one. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a college town, a liberal uh, mid-sized city, so we kind of expect um, there would be more. But we're mm -hmm. happy to provide a vegetarian um, meals and cocktails and um, for all of vegetarian customers. But sometimes, I meet once in a while, I meet a person who thinks that they're not a vegetarian, so the Green Owl is a place that's not for them. And that's actually not the case at all. I'm nowhere near a vegetarian, but the food you guys bring in, and I learned about you from doing the show here, mm -hmm. but the food is fantastic, and you have some really good drinks as well. Mm -hmm. So you do not have to be a vegetarian to go there. They yeah. great food. Totally true. So, you know, but once in a while, like I said, once mm -hmm. in a while we get a person who just is a little bit, like, mystified by vegetarian food in general. So we thought we would um, demystify vegetarian food a little bit and um, show you some of our ingredients. Sounds good. So what are you going to show us today then? Um, okay, well we're going to show you um, one of the vegetarian foods that has un unfortunately has kind of a not so pretty name. It's called okay. seitan. And okay. um, it's, um, it's wheat gluten or gluten. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a staple in Asian cultures and food and you can find it in Buddhist restaurants as kind of a meat substitute. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it has kind of a chewy texture and it kind of resembles meat um, and some vegetarians it's like so close to meat that it's a little um, weird to them if they're you know kind of a, don't you know want to avoid meat but they have to remember it's just a wheat protein. All right. Um, and it's also a really great absorber of flavors so we kind of use it in different ways we make like sausages out of it um, and it's just kind of how you spice it. Okay. So one of our prep cooks Adrian here has mixed up um, the start of the seitan. Hey Adrian, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in today. Hi. So that's it. That's what you're mixing right now? Yeah, that's correct. It's actually just gluten flour um, with the starch removed, which kind of gives it that sticky uh, texture that kind of creates the meat uh, meat element to it. Um, so we've got it on our menu and we cook it for about 45 minutes in a soy stock. Okay. And uh, then we pull it out and uh, we'll typically slice it uh, thinly. Um, and it'll, it'll wind up looking like this in the Philly cheesesteak. Well, so. with that, it looks like bread, but with that, that, let me see, that, that looks fantastic. <laughs> that's something I'm gonna be trying as soon as we're done filming here. Yeah, that's a, that's a very popular one. So we also have, um, use it in another form, um, this is, we don't have it on the menu, but as a special, mm -hmm. we do, um, it's called a sloppy owl. It's our version of a sloppy joe sandwich. Um, so there's just a lot of different ways to prepare seitan. All right. Hi. Oh. Hello. How are you uh, talking about Satan? I, I believe we have Prince in the house. <laughs> or should I call you the artist formerly known as Prince or the symbol or what are we no, going by? No, no. I'm no longer called the artist formerly known as Prince. I've got a normal name now. It's just Prince. I was going through some weird stuff a while back and became a Jehovah's Witness and and a vegetarian, so okay. I was deeply, deeply moved to learn that a treasured vegetarian restaurant like the Green Owl Cafe would dabble in the black arts and serve anything on the menu named Satan. Oh, 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 okay. It's actually, it's not Satan or, um, it's not uh, Satan related at all. Um, and I was telling Ryan earlier that it actually has kind of a bad name. It's Satan. It's S E I T A N, not not Satan at all. So um, it has nothing to do with the Lord of the Underworld. Okay, so there's no Satan in the Satan, or no Satan-related dishes served at your restaurant? No, nope, no, nope, not at all. You're you're totally safe. So as a God-fearing rock star celebrity, can eat at your restaurant without fear of troubling the gods? Absolutely, absolutely. And um, we, we do have something on the menu called devil wings, but um, I can assure you they're just called that because they're like spicy, like unchicken mm. wings. So you're safe there too. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like a devil worshiper. <laughs> oh, no, no. He's, he's Adrian, he's our cook, he's the father of twins, he's a, he's a very nice guy, you don't have to worry. All right. Maybe you'd like to try our sloppy owl sandwich. Maybe that would, you could sort of test if you like that. 
see if you'll try the green owl. <laughs> it's a little sloppy. I'll try it with a french true, fry. True to its name. What do you think? <laughs> I think that means good. Prince likes it. <laughs> wow. That's well, great. Well, I really hope you'll stop by the Green Owl. Next time I'm in Madison, my bad. I'll make sure I stop by. <laughs> Just cut out the God bashing, okay? Right. We really didn't mean anything about God with the whole. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, not, not really true. Going for a holy war at all. all right. The important thing is Prince likes the Green Owl food, and that's what we wanted. No Satan, no devil worshiping. They have the devil wings, that's because they're hot. Mm -hmm. And it's not Satan, it's Satan. Satan. Even spelled differently. Right. And it's fantastic. I am really excited to try some of that. And that's just a couple of the menu items that the Green Owl has for people, correct? Absolutely. Um, and we are going to have, um, coming up um, is Schenck's Corners Fest. Um, okay. It's right outside the Green Owl, and we will have our sloppy Ooh. owl sandwiches. So um, it's a music fest, so you can stop by, Prince, if you want to play. All right. And you can have a sloppy Groovy. owl sandwich. Groovy. Jam yeah. session. Now, I got to ask, you brought this along. What's uh, this little guy we have here today? This is the, um, the type of kombucha that we <laughs> we have. We have a lot of strange sounding um, words. Seitan and kombucha <laughs> in the restaurant show. <laughs> That's right. So this is um, Tapawat kombucha, and it comes from Door County. So it's a fermented tea. It's very probiotic. It's okay. very good for you. We have we usually have several different flavors going on. So okay. you should try that too. Sounds good. And we do want to mention that for those of you watching at home, make sure you mention that Prince stopped by today. He was our guest celebrity, and you're going to get a free dessert with the purchase of two entrees as well over at the Green Owl. Adrian, thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you. Jenny, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Ryan. Prince, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. We'll be back with more of the restaurant show in just a minute.